So now it's time to talk about what for many people is probably the star of the show, and that's quadratic expressions. So there are a few different types of quadratic expressions. We're only going to be focusing on quadratic expressions in one variable. So quadratic expressions in one variable, quadratic just means the highest power of the variable that appears is two. Okay, so quadratic just means the highest power of the variable that appears is two. So for example, x squared plus five x plus six is a quadratic expression. There's also sort of a requirement that the only other powers that appear are x to the first and just a constant term here, maybe one or the other or neither really. But we can't have anything like x to the two thirds or any fractions like that, nothing like that. But we're not going to worry about little cases like that. We're just dealing with integer exponents. Okay, so don't have to worry about crazy things like that. But anyway, quadratic in one variable just means that the highest power of the variable that appears is two. Okay, so we can also have something like, something a little more complicated, like maybe six x squared plus 11 x plus four. Okay, that's another type of quadratic expression here. Now, notice here, this doesn't have anything in front of the x squared, so that's sort of like a one. Okay, or really, it pretty much is one. If there's nothing in front of the variable there, that just means a coefficient of one. Here, there's a coefficient of six. So these are two different types here. So this number in front of the x squared is called the leading coefficient. So that's called the leading coefficient. Now it's not called the leading coefficient because it's the very first thing that appears in the whole term. It's called the leading coefficient because it appears on the x squared. So no matter what order you write this in, okay, x squared plus five x plus six, or you could say six plus five x plus x squared, the leading coefficient is still the one that's on the x squared, okay? No matter which order you write it in. So just wanna point that out there. So the leading coefficient for a quadratic expression here is always what's on the squared term, okay? So the leading coefficient for this guy is one, the leading coefficient for this guy over here is six, okay? six and one. Now I want to point out these two things here because there's different ways to approach factoring these guys. So in this section we're going to talk about how to factor quadratic expressions with the leading coefficient of one and in the next section we're going to talk about how to factor quadratic expressions where the leading coefficient is not one. So it's a little bit of a different process for these two guys here. This one up here is a little simpler so we're going to focus on that first and this one is a little more complicated we'll do that later. So for now, let's go ahead and move on to some examples of factoring quadratic expressions with a leading coefficient of one.